Alante, I have spent a lot of time trying to decide how to express my love for you. I remember the first night we met, we spent hours talking until last call. I always enjoy our time together and we seem to have an endless stream of conversation. Whether it's performing an anthropological examination of our favorite 90 day fiance couple, sharing memes, or trying to figure out which of the endless delivery options we want to eat before we just end up on McDonald's. <laughs> I cherish our time together. I love you for how much you show you care for me, giving me encouragement, hugs, and taking care of my fur babies. I love the way we make each other laugh, even if we're just sitting on the couch watching our animals be weird. They're weirdos. I love the aesthetic you bring to our lives, and we never do things halfway. I fell in love with you after a whirlwind first few weeks together, from our first big adventure day, getting pasta del Corvo, riding the Seattle Ferris wheel to passion fruit, sipping on some pretty boozy hot chocolates, going to the aquarium, seeing uncut gems, and ending with a night of spectacular cocktails at Cannon. All the way to our romantic first Valentine's Day, first international trip, first trip together, Victoria, British Columbia. After an amazing first year together, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you, and I was so glad when we decided to get engaged and make it so. When I think of being without you, it would tear me apart. From this day and forever, I promise to always be there to drive you when it's the height of Leo season and you're aching to spend some time at the beach. I promise to continue to go on adventures with you. I promise to keep making engineering solutions when things go wrong in the house and we need to make another Franken Roomba. I promise to have an amazing, memorable honeymoon getaway in Italy filled with plenty of coastlines, wine, gelato, and gabagool. I love you so much and I'm excited to be in the next stage of our journey together. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Jake, one of my favorite words is kismet, which means destiny or fate. For example, a certain fictional mob boss might say with kismet that there's always gabagool in the fridge. For me, kismet is matching and chatting with you on New Year's Eve 2019. From our shared interest in living our best bougie lives while creating an equitable household, to your uncanny, uncanny golem impression and crazy good handyman skills, every day I find myself grateful to spend my life with you. And while on the topic of gratitude, I want to thank you for letting me become a pet mom to your animal babies and allowing me to live out my 90s sitcom fantasy with Maya as my comet and Persephone as my Salem. I vow to continue being weird, a weirdo with you, to continue observing Uncle Clifford rule number 55.99, even when there ain't no money raining, dance like tonight's your last night, and to continue, years later, trying to figure out if Godzilla vs. Kong was a real movie we watched or just an edible induced fever dream. <laughs> <laughs> I know that we were meant to travel the world together, eat chicken nuggets on the couch while watching 90 Day Fiancé together, make mean cocktails together, and slip silly pop culture references into everyday conversation and even wedding vows. Loving you and being with you is indeed kismet. Yeah, it's okay, you can clap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those vows were fantastic, guys. <laughs> You've chosen to embody this commitment in rings that each will wear. There are many metaphors to the wedding ring. An unbroken circle, never-ending symbol, token of one's love. I like to think of something that represents another the person that's with you at all times. The comforting presence of your other half. One ring to rule them all. One ring to bind them. One ring to bring them all, and in darkness bind them. With these rings, now worn by the those you treasure most, they radiate the love and energy bestowed upon them. And with that, we may now bring up the rings. Jake, do you promise to love, cherish, and adore Alante? To be your biggest fan and undying support. Will you love her even though she likes to tease everyone, especially you and the pets? Will you stand by as she spends way too much at Sephora and buys ice cream before even finishing the ice cream that she already has in the freezer? <laughs> Do you promise to always drop her off and pick her up from the airport knowing that it means the world to her that you'd love to see her on her way and be there to welcome her home? And most importantly, do you promise to be by her side through every adventure and to love her absolutely for the rest of your lifetime? I do. Alante, do you promise to love, cherish, and adore Jake? To be his biggest fan and undying support? Will you love him even though he talks to Maya in a made-up language, 
and does impeccable impersonations of movie characters. Will you make sure to remind him of the snacks that he bought so he doesn't forget about them and then get more? Do you promise to always express your love for him in sweet cards with the dogs, knowing he loves words of affirmation and especially loves dogs? And most importantly, do you promise to be by his side through every adventure and to love him absolutely for the rest of your lifetime? I do. You have kissed a thousand times, maybe more, but today you will have a new first kiss. And without further delay, I, Jimmy Bergwin, first of my name, officiant of the PNW, now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now seal it with a kiss. <laughs> I came to get this party jumping as it can be. I came to get this party live. Are you with me? I came to get this party jumping as it can be. I came to get this party live. Are you with me? I came to get this party. I came to get this party. I came to get this party. I get this, get this jumping. Been you with me? This I get this, get this jumping. Get this, get this jumping, jumping. 